Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we are going to cover five killer ways to open up your next presentation. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our sponsor, Michelou Consulting, has over 30 years of experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need tax return filing, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, a corporate or individual tax return, I personally use and highly recommend the services of Jeffrey Ressler, CPA, whose phone number is 561-237-5264. That number again is 561-237-5264. You can visit his website at jrcpa.net. That's jrcpa. Net. Tell Jeff that Chad Deckard sent you to receive a discount for listening to this show. Thank you very much. And remember, you can always look to the audio video description of this post for names, phone numbers, and links to references made during the program. Or you can get them by visiting cdeckard.com, chaddeckard.com, or ezinegenerator.com anytime as well. Broadcasting from the city of hot sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my Internet Marketing Pro and EZineGenerator.com podcast show. Our shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and preeminent professional Internet marketers. Thank you for tuning into our show as we begin this adventure together, exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a quick few announcements before we get started. And like I always begin my shows, I really like to show my personal appreciation for all the feedback that uh, we have been getting from you all. What a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continually think of the next subject matter that we can explore together. We are also very excited about helping us get more subscribers and why not subscribe yourself and also share this content with your social networks. Together, we are building an internet marketing community around this program as well as others in our syndicate. Our weekly listening base is growing a great deal week after week, and that's the greatest payoff our listening syndicate can do for the community and for me in giving back from my time and efforts in putting this show together for you. If you like our show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, Post, leave a comment, and subscribe to our show. Be sure to visit azinegenerator.com and become a free member of our highly resourceful total online marketing presence community. You will gain instant access to exclusive uh, thousands of over-the-shoulder how-to training videos, articles, RSS feed syndications, and to over 500 resource websites relating to total online presence, covering topics like analytics, content, email marketing, mobile marketing, search engine, net social networks, travel, uh, traffic, articles, white papers, podcast interviews of preeminent leaders, current events, and much, much more. The entire topic collectives are consolidated into a single source content aggregation website community. Consider it your very own internet marketing community newsstand. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support. Finally, be sure to review our past archive shows on iTunes, Stitcher Smart Radio, YouTube, and Zoom. Now, let's get down to business. In today's show, we are going to cover five killer ways to open up your next presentation. So, to start off with, statistics say that you have about 60 seconds to capture the attention of an audience. And, you know, it's critical or crucial to understand the importance of grasping an audience attention in the first moments of a talk. So, you know, when you're opening your lines, set the tone of the overall performance. Uh, a great opener will prepare and intrigue the audience. Remember that it will prepare and intrigue the audience. And this will help you to ensure that your message is effectively received by them. You know, you got to be able to enchant an audience right off the bat. And if you can't do that, then, you know, you're going to lose them. So, let's cover. The first killer way is to tell a story. So, telling stories are something that we all crave because we all have them. And, you know, proposing that this shared experience, say a story with your audience, it allows them to identify with you on a personal level. So make sure if you're telling a story that it's relative to your general audience and something that is runs along the lines that they would generally 
understand or maybe it's something along the lines of your topic matter because that's why they're there in the first place to listen and and that way you can capture them immediately and probably make them laugh and they'll like you so just remember to keep the story relevant to the request or the topic event that you were asked to speak about in order to achieve the maximum effectiveness number two killer way is to begin with by asking questions you want to engage them. You know, a simple, how's everyone doing, opens up a forum of sorts for the audience. It empowers them and makes them feel more receptive to your message, gets them involved and thinking. You know, a question also makes the audience, you know, think about, you know, the topic. And it also gives um, you control over the topic in the forum. And it gets them to possibly even want to engage you when you do open it up for possibly questions during your talk toward the end. This is a great way to set and reinforce the agenda of your choice while giving the audience a sense of power. And I'd say, you know, that's a good thing to do because uh, uh, people don't want to just be, you know, spoken to like the masses. They want to be, you know, kind of infotainment or uh, info uh, entertained while they're listening to your message. That's the best way to deliver it. And number three killer way is to use quotes. You can use one uh, of people that you know or even some famous quotes that might be relative. So referencing the words and thoughts of an expert in relation to your message is useful for establishing an overreaching theme or general idea about the topic. You are imparting wisdom on your audience. And while you're also doing that, you're creating segu into your own topic. So just what just make sure though that you know you follow up with a quote or with an explanation of how it empowers your topic or how it is relevant okay okay so let's get into the killer tip number 4 statistics everybody wants to you like no you know where's the proof in the pudding you can say everything you want but where's the action so if used correctly statistics can be very effective in illuminating your topic the key is to use very clear accurate and relevant information in order to truly engage your audience remember a solid statistic places your incoming message in a concrete irrefutable and trusted frame of reference you know, data not only provides your presentation with a trusted source, but it also lends credibility to everything that you say afterward. And our fifth and final killer trick, or, or I'd say recommendation, is to use jokes. Jokes. Humor is extremely powerful and is often used effectively. A good joke can loosen up your audience and make them feel more receptive to you as a person as well as, you know, your message. So, you know, be warned though, because humor is, can be highly volatile and a bad joke can be worse than no joke at all. And then you end up becoming the joke on stage, laughing all by yourself while there is just crickets, you know, basically tweeting in the room. So make sure that you have a scope for your target audience before you dive into a dud of a joke. And use these techniques, these five techniques in your next presentation to prepare, engage, control, and entertain your audience. Like all things, these methods are only suggestions and their effectiveness depends heavily on your delivery. Make them your own and you will appeal more natural and fluid in your performance. So practice does make perfect and it'll help you not to be so nervous. No matter how good you think you are, even the greatest entertainers or people that have been up on stage hundreds to thousands of times still every time seem to get some type of butterfly in their stomach or get nervous at times. So it's never a bad thing to be over prepared and own your information and exactly practice what it is that you want to say if you need to you know see say it in front of a video camera and then go back and watch yourself and see how you react and pre you know really put yourself there in front of people and, and see how you look how you sound and work on that delivery and perfect that message and the delivery that you give and people will think you're a rock star so that's about it for today's presentation. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you like my show, please consider subscribing to it, which you can do by visiting my website, chaddecker.com. Or if you are an iTunes or Stitcher Smart Radio listener, take it with you wherever you go on your mobile device. 
If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, or subscribe to my show. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support, and you are part of what makes this show a success. Well, that's about it for this show. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. This is Chad Deckard signing off. Goodbye for now.